it has been long <clears throat> I missed you all I missed you all I missed you all it has been long that we spoke it has been long that we we gathered together it has been long that we we spoke and many of you have been saying see a one where have you been see a one you don't come life again you don't you don't talk to us you don't uh, care about us again especially uh, my people from zambia see one you have neglected us i've not neglected you there is time for everything i took time to plan for the ministry in nigeria and uh, I'm glad that we are up and running and glad to announce to you that uh, we are now the fastest growing ministry in Nigeria within a space of one year uh, that is power it can only be power I also took time to gain ground because you know politics is a very dangerous game as you know that uh, uh, when you are when you are when you decide to fight for the people you must make sure that you are standing very strong you know from your root it's not easy i remember the last time i did politics the last time i fought uh, the pf government uh, i was uh, it was terrible because i was fighting from uh, another person's land i was fighting from south africa and uh, it was so big i can tell you many times that they came to assassinate me uh, many times they used people to as as try to assassinate me in the church at my home and so on so politics is a very strong thing that you need to prepare yourself and uh, we have prepared ourselves we are back we are ready to fight again and uh, it, i took time usually I, i'm not somebody that just wake up and start fighting you can see that uh, before i fight i give a uh, several warning and i give opportunity for amendment you know because i prepare myself in in the course of this preparation a lot of things go on i spend most most of the time under the sun uh, under the rain so that's why you can see me at dakar today but uh, it, it is okay it's uh, it is well it is what it when we, we the battle is won we are going to uh, be okay we are going to go back to the aircon just like i said i'm back this time is going to be tough this time is going to be brutal the reason why it's going to be brutal is that i have discovered that in africa we have problems our heads of states we we are we keep electing people that are not supposed to be elected we keep bringing criminals into power to come and destroy things we bring in people that are liars we bring in people that don't have anything good for 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 africa they come into power and and they don't want to have anything to do with africans i am coming there this is brutal um this is just an example L like many people who are saying hey see i want lost popularity see i one cannot do anything i am here i'm 10 minutes online and there is already over it's getting to five thousand people that are watching now and <laughs> There are people who say, ah, see your one, you see your one is gone. See your one will not do anything. See your one, I'm going to do something. And, and when I do it, it will be worse. When I, when I do it, people will regret. And people are going to cry. And people will know. People will understand politics. <coughs> uh, usually in time like this when things have not started being bad 
when you take over power as an African president, when you take over power, you disconnect yourself from reality. I was having a, a chat with one of the opposition leaders who is going to be the next president of Zambia in the next few years. And I was telling him to say, the problem with you guys is that before election, you are humble. <laughs> Anyone can talk to you. <laughs> Anyone can speak to you. Anyone, you can... Pa, 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 pa. Hey, you go, you take picture with people that are selling maize. You take picture with people that are selling uh, uh, on the street. You, you, you know, you... you but everywhere you are so humble but once you take over power you become stupid <laughs> i was telling him <laughs> the problem we have in africa is that when what by the time it is campaign period they don't understand that they the there are people that they they need to work with they don't understand their friends they look for the poor and the youths are victims they are victims. The poor and the youth are victims. That is why this time around we must wake up.